Hi everyone and welcome to Bullet Dress Designs. I wanted to make this video because I recently purchased a server motor for my brother industrial sewing machine. Um, when I purchased my brother industrial sewing machine, it came with a clutch motor. And if any of you guys know what a clutch motor is um, compared to a server motor, the clutch motor is actually very loud, it's very noisy. Once you turn on the sewing machine, that's all you will hear is the engine constantly running until you turn it off. And so um, I purchased the server motor because when you turn it on, you do not hear anything at all. The only time you will hear the sewing machine is when you are actually sewing something. And so not only that, the clutch motor actually uses a lot of energy. Uh, Size-wise, it's so much bigger than the server motor. The server motor is actually very energy efficient. So more money in your pocket, that's a plus. And um, this video, I want to make this video because I just want to show you guys how you can replace your clutch motor with the server motor. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. So first you will need to unscrew the three bolts to remove the clutch motor. And then from there, these screws will need to be removed. That one removed and that one removed. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and insert our new pins. So just one, two. You didn't have to remove them, but look at the difference. It looks better, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace those so now I'm just turn the machine upside down then you have like these rubber I don't know what they are they're just rubber I think you're supposed to put them in between here so that will actually help with um, making when it vibrates so that it doesn't make you know so much noise so you just go ahead and insert those in okay so now I have all seven rubbers on there and I'm gonna go ahead and connect them to those three big bolts right there Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the washer and the bolt, but I'm not going to tighten it. I'm going to go ahead and put the motor right between over here, the washer and the table, and then I'll go ahead and tighten it. Okay, so now we're going to connect the foot pedal. We're going to go ahead and connect the wire to the box now. So we have one and two. And then you have your outlet wire, and that's the big one that goes here. So there we go. One, two, three. I'm probably going to move right here. And then I will hook it up and see if it works. Okay, I got everything in. All of that 
put on the belt cover right here and I also went ahead and screwed this on there. I have to screw one more here and one more back there just to um, make sure it's screwed in there so it doesn't shake or anything when it's turned on. Went ahead and installed that. There's our light. So there we go. Let's try and take it for a little run. Oh my goodness, so much quieter. The minute that I would turn on this button and start sewing, that motor would make so much noise. It was so bad. like, And then it would just keep running, 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 running until you'd stop sewing. So now, this one, you turn it on. And it's complete silence. And the only thing you hear is the needle going up and down when you're sewing. So, very pleased, very happy. Um, they have all kinds of different motors, and I believe they range from about 100 to even 150. Um, like I said, this is a new tech motor that I, server motor that I got, and it is a brushless server motor. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm excited to do my sewing now. I can sew late at night without um, <laughs> bothering my husband when he's sleeping. So I'm sure he will be happy with that. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. There's our stitch if you can see.